Cloud Imperium buying 22,000 shares of Turbulent stock, becoming investors into Turbulent. Now, who is Turbulent? Turbulent is the company that's responsible for creating Spectrum. So they have invested enough money to own 25% essentially of Turbulent. Turbulent founders Marc Boudet and Benoit Bessejour each acquired 1,100 shares. Oh, so they, they've uh, acquired shares. I was not aware of that in Cloud Imperium UK at an unchanged valuation from last year's minority investment in Cloud Imperium by the Clive Cowder family's office. We, we reported that. Uh, we reported that last year. And Keith Cowder Snoot Entertainment, thereby increasing the total number of shares issued by Cloud Imperium to 1.1 million shares. That's a, a, an interesting piece of information as well. And we always knew that there was a very healthy relationship between these two parties. We knew that Cloud Imperium and, and Turbulent had uh, a relationship through Benoit Bessejour. I will show you a video of that now, who is the CTO of Turbulent. That means the Chief Technical Officer. We will show you uh, this uh, particular video from the Star Citizen YouTube channel. And after that, I'm going to chime in on whether I think this is a good move or not. Meet the devs. Yeah. Benoit Bossejon. Perfect. Perfect. Who the heck are you? I'm the CTO of Turbulent and co founder. But so, you're also some. I'm also. Who is Benoit Bossejon? Well, I'm a French guy from Montreal. Okay. And um, I'm a programmer. <laughs> programmer? <laughs> yeah. And a uh, part time artist. And, uh, but mainly a programmer. Mainly a programmer. <laughs> yeah. or, uh, web programmer. Yes, yes, only web. That's what are some of your favorite aspects about Star Citizen? Oh, for, well, I've, man, everything. Like, I've, I've started Starships, you know, MMO piece. I was a huge MMO fan. I played World of Warcraft like, you know, no other. Mm. I, I ran, you know, high end guilds. You know, I just went crazy World of Warcraft, and so the MMO aspect for me is 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 important. Like the universe aspect, the fact that there's a, there's stuff to do in the universe that's persistent. Uh, for me, that's uh, really in in the science fiction universe, you know, because all the MMO games are always you know in another, you know, like medieval thing or whatever. You know, like or I played Eve. I know I did. I did play Eve, but you know it's a spreadsheet game. So moving on. This is not a spreadsheet game. That's what excites me. Okay. <laughs> you know. There's like there's gonna be action. The art is crazy, amazing, you know. And so that's what excites me about it is really the the just the setting, the immersive element of it. Uh, you know, I'm just a huge. I'm probably one of the no, top fans just of the idea. So. Gotcha. So there we go a little bit more about Benoit, the CTO of Turbulent. Turbulent being a company that does a lot of behind the, the scenes work, organizing design, look and feel of Spectrum. They are building a impressive resume. Cyberprofs, it's a website that they help design and maintain. Property Brothers, my mom loves that show. <laughs> Idello. Uh, here we see Star Citizen. So they're, you know, Turbulence becoming more successful. They're expanding their brand outwards and uh, they're getting more business. And here you go. This might be one of the reasons why you're seeing them take some cash and invest into Turbulent. Maybe they're a little flush in cash like they, they haven't been for the longest time. We reported here on the channel in 2018, they actually reported an 800,000 pound loss. Here we have uh, revenue showing us near 40 million. And there, there are over 38 million in revenues in 2019. They beat last year's numbers. They're heading towards 40. December's not complete yet. And perhaps they're actually Actually, perhaps they have some cash on them now and they're starting to make investments that's a that's a positive sign as a business uh, trying to you know find ways to bring in uh, more revenue they're investing in other companies they believe in turbulent uh, you know we know the expenses are around three million per month so you know they're going against three million approximately per month in expenses we did that that math here on the channel as well and you know that's 36 million that's 36 million, all right? But they've got a lot of leverage and perhaps they're using some of the cash and the leverage to make this investment into Turbulent. I personally think this is a move in the right direction. This, this, this is what I wanna see out of a business when it's investing in other businesses and uh, having having this as investment uh, puts puts uh, more assets in their portfolio. And, and to me, this is a positive move, but we shall see. If they don't have that much cash right now, 
even though they have 38 million and are having the best year they they've ever had and their expenses are still a little out of control and my they could they could reduce their burn rate at three million per month to something a little bit more manageable i believe but hey that's where they're currently at and uh, i've always been a proponent of them you know looking at their expense uh, column and kind of like bringing the expenses down a little bit so they can actually show profit. I'm I'm thinking we might see a profit for 2019 when we see those financials um, and we'll know next year if in fact they are showing a profit. I'm really, really focused on that. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out. Being cautiously optimistic right here when a business starts to invest in other businesses and brings in assets into their portfolio, they have a lot more leverage as a company. I view it as, as a positive thing. Uh, we'll know next year if they are reporting a profit. Uh, you know, once we get well into the next quarter and they and they they go over their their entire annual 2019 year and they report in 2020, we're going to see if they're going to show a profit or not. That's going to be a key indicator on what I think of the health of Cloud Imperium, and I will make sure to put that on the channel as I always do. Anytime there's something happening in the financial world involving Cloud Imperium games that has a direct correlation with the project and its success or not i love to put this content on the channel here i hope anytime you're you're wondering what's going on in the financial world in the real world in regards to cloud imperium that you're coming here thank you very much for watching and supporting this channel and helping us out i will see you on the next vid today's video has been brought to you by the generous patrons of dg360 who make continued content possible dg360 patrons enjoy monthly giveaways like star citizen packages steam gift cards and any game that you want giveaways please consider donating one dollar if in any way you enjoy dg360 content and these difficult times where independent content creation is under attack from the ftc and left to die by youtube it's nice to know that I'm appreciated. Thank you.